Holy crap, even Nordy made it. What's up, Nordy? All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mystery Hour. Today, we are going right back into the Obra Den, and we are going to discover the mysteries of the Chinese trio. So with that said, let's go ahead and stop the music and get into the game. Of course, we will be joined today by our magnificent zebra friend, Dancing in the Corner. Let's go. Chill H.C. Illing. What? What? what the biggest mystery of all. What happened to Nordy's brain? <laughs> okay. So, we're going to be dealing with, no, these, these, no, these Chinamen, where, where are these Chinamen? Deal with it like this. We're trying to discover these Chinamen, Hong Li, Zhu Zhang, and Li Hong. I know I'm just, Huang, I'm sorry, Huang Li, Li Hong. There is a difference. Takes out the sniper rifle. Gets ready. Brain was never here. All right. Uh, let's see here. All three are top men. I can bet that all three have shown up in this area during the bitter cold, the hammock scene. We might try and get some... Uh, some clues first from here. They're all split up. Like, this is one of them, and then this guy, and this guy. Actually, that's it. Those are the three guys. This guy is listed as an unknown soul. That's wrong. He's one of the top men. So, I guess let's start with the bitter cold. Actually, let's follow that guy. This guy right here. Oh, no, this guy right here. Let's start with him. Or do I have two triangles on, on the other two? No, all three of them are, are three triangles. This guy's got four memories. This guy's got five memories. This guy's got four memories. Let's start with the guy with five memories. Bookmark that. And... On to the first one, which of course is the bitter cold. So this should be where we start. Okay, this starts in the Olap deck. Down we go. Well, I hope you guys are all ready for a fantastic adventure of trying to spot things, like looking for details. Um, Month and Nordy, I don't think either of you have been part of this game before. Is this the Orlop, or is this... Oh yeah, this is the Orlop. The general gist of this game is notice shit, like that blood in the wall, and that giant spider monster. You know, just shit. Okay, this is the Indian group. I know all the Ch Chinese people group together. This guy is number 59. This is George Shirley. I think he's the only one. 38. Yeah, this is it. Huang Li. Let's see if we notice anything about Huang Li. Uh, I don't see anything hanging off of him. He's got those shoes. Actually, all the Chinese men seem to have these these kinds of dancey shoes, like those. Uh, this is number 40. Uh, Li Hong. And number 41. Wei Li. We already know who Whaley is. Oh, and number 39. Okay, so these three guys. Let's see if we can find anything. They are stere stereotypical Chinese shoes. I knew it. Just sort of flats. I'm not sure. I don't see anything. Although it is, it might be of note. 
that they are in this section of the ship. Like, we might just remember this part of the ship. Where's this? The gunner deck? Not the Orlop. Yeah, this is the gunner deck. Huh. I don't see anything particularly interesting about these hammocks. Like, there's nothing hanging off. What is that? Okay, that's that's rope to hold onto things. I'm just seeing their shoes. So one has a set of white shoes. One has a set of black shoes. Huh. Well, that's in and of itself something interesting. What is this? 40. Li Hong has black shoes. Hong Li has black shoes, but this guy has... Am I going nuts? These are white shoes. Wait, sorry. Which one is this? 39? Okay, I, I don't know how accurate this is. I need a pencil to remember this. 38, 39, and 40 are the guys we want. Correct. And 39... Number 39 of the three has white shoes which is a weird thing to notice and I, I knew I'd end up having to identify people by their shoes and I really wished it wasn't going to be the case but those are clearly black shoes those are clearly black shoes and these are clearly white shoes so that's about all we can kind of discern from this so the next time we see them is the man on deck. Oh, oh, this is during the, okay, this is during the execution, and that might just exactly be what we need. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. That's where we're going next. We'll take a closer look. These three guys, uh, for those who haven't been playing along, uh, these three guys are called top men. They're usually hanging around the rigging and the ropes. So that is, chances are, that's where we're going to be seeing them. Puck Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession. Who are you? Oh, you're one. You're the king. Black shoes, not our man. And by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the crown of England, I sentence you to death. <laughs> oh, we already know him. He's the mate Stewart. <laughs> Who's that guy? When you are ready. No, there. You know what? I think we can identify them all by their shoes, because these guys' shoes have a band at the top, but these guys' shoes don't. And then the other guy has white shoes. Where is the other guy? No, that's not him. Come on, he's not one of the guys holding a rifle, is he? They wouldn't give a Chinaman a rifle. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just assuming that people are like stereotypically 1807 racist here. So I know that might not be fair. Where are you hiding, friend? Where are you hiding? Monkey. Do you think they ate the monkey? I think they ate the monkey. Oh, that's Whaley. Huh.
Okay, Captain and his mates. Uh, Gunner's mate. Top man. In black shoes. Top man. In black shoes with rims. I should have paid closer attention. I might have to go back to the hammocks. It says very clearly that all three Chinamen are here. This guy, this guy. Oh, this guy's missing. Huh, that's why I couldn't find him. This guy's number 39. We gotta be certain though. I don't like playing this game where like maybe he's the right guy. No, let's get a look at his shoes. He shows up later on. Unholy captives. Where is this? Gun deck. In between towards the aft I mean the, the bow. Okay, let's check it out. But if it is this easy, I'm going to be kind of disappointed. Because that's actually really easy. Okay, onwards. This is where the cook died. Because he decided he would uh, check out the mermaid and got his neck snapped. Uh, incidentally, welcome to the Obra Dinn where shit goes down. That's him. And he's got white shoes. Those are white shoes. Well, hello there. How are you doing, Zhizeng? So now we question which one these two are. That worked out pretty well. I thought this would take longer. I thought we'd end up track tracking them each down one at a time. But I guess not. One last thing I want to make sure of. How he died. Oh, he was strangled by a terrible beast. That's right. He was one of the two guys that the giant spider mount strangled. Okay. I'm just going to leave him alone. I'm so... How does James Watson, the surgeon's mate... I was never certain about that. I'm going to put him down as an unknown officer for now until I know better. But we definitely saw this guy die. So... To the hammocks again. Which is... Orlop deck towards the aft, I think? I hate to keep coming back to the same memory over and over again, but this was the most useful memory out of everything. There we go. Rims, number 40. 40 has rims. Thirty-eight does not. Okay, we know our guys. So forty. Let me write that down real quick. Number forty has rims, or whatever you call those. And number thirty-eight does not, which will put those guys down pretty neatly. One last thing while I'm looking at it. Do we know how they died? He was electrocuted. Oh yeah, he was struck by lightning. I remember that. And he was speared by a terrible beast. 
They didn't even make it to the bargain. Okay. Man, I'm not gonna know what to do with myself. This was too easy. It's because I was constantly looking for somebody to be identified by their shoes. Huck Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. All right, here we go. Man with Rims, number 40. Hello there, Li Hong. Boom! Hey, we got the right midshipman, too. Three more souls down. And that just leaves this guy. Number 38. Huang Li. Now, while we're at it, there was a guy... No, not him. He's a carpenter. We got these guys, didn't we? They're all midshipmen, so we, we knew who they are, all are. This guy. We thought he was the surgeon's mate. That did not turn out to be true. So this guy's next. So let's see. Where does he show up first? The... Not the hammocks. Will it spread? If so, we'd have it all off. Pick it up. I checked all hands now and everyone is healthy. And him, what are his chances? I need to hear this conversation. Quiet. As captain of this ship, and by the chicken. East India Company, and thus got an eye on you, chicken. Okay, that information is now gone. Good, good, good. We're making progress, lads. Okay, first dead guy is located Orlop deck on the stairs towards the aft. If I remember right, they were dragging him away. But he eventually died in the surgeon's compartment, or... Uh, whatever it's, whatever it's called. Here. This is kind of laying about. What do we know about him? Suspenders. Bald. Beard. Amish? He's dancing with Emily Jackson. Are they married? They're dancing at the same time that this guy is playing. Is there a Jackson on the manifest? That isn't Emily Jackson. There's Emily Jackson. Any other Jacksons? I don't see any other Jacksons. Just to make sure. Just Emily Jackson. She's alive in Africa. James. No one else. They must have picked it up last What are you doing here? I pinned him as the surgeon's mate, but, but what the hell is he really doing here? Nah, I want to see this guy somewhere else. I'm not certain that he's the uh, surgeon's mate. It seems likely, but... I just want to be certain. 
Um, really, he was around when the uh, when the cow was being killed. That's easy enough to find. Somebody explain why the passengers were in the same deck as the cow. Purser's office. Surgery. Is he also... Is he still in the surgeon's... Enter here. One swing. Get true to Scotland stone of rain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? He's getting the bed ready. Come on before she kicks off. Okay, everything says this is the surgeon's mate. So what's wrong? Why isn't it accepting him? Why isn't it accepting this guy as a surgeon's mate? Was it because he what was he not actually strangled by a terrible beast? He could be the bosun's mate. Is he the Frenchman that they were talking about? That the bosun was screaming about? Hmm. James Wallace or Charles Minor? It's one of these two people. Interesting. Where else were you? You were there during the fight with the unholy captives. You were there when the... What's his face? Um, the cook got killed by the mermaid's tail. Next memory? You want me to get head to the next memory? I can do that. Okay, next memory. Which was Unholy Captives. And I think this is where he died. No, he died in the next one later. <laughs> Uh, this is on the main deck, really. What? guys what are these monsters where are they from you must tell us everything this is your fault the shell must be protected we will all die hey oh yeah oh yeah surgeon's mate surgeon's mate no way that he is not the surgeon's mate. He's got a doctor's bag. He's in the surgeon's office. He's helping him set up a bed for a patient. He And he has a doctor's bag looking at three dead bodies. This is the surgeon's mate. And here's the surgeon who's just like, yeah, motherfucking awesome. Look at how awesome I am. Strike a pose. So how did he die? Good question. He died on this memory here, which is located on the Orlop deck and is where we are headed next. Now, Month, I don't know if you've been following along on YouTube or what, but the general gist is they uh, tell us three in a row. So, even if we get this guy right, we might not find out until later. Hey, here's his actual dead body. Oh, 
Okay, you were absolutely strangled. You look like you were strangled. Both of these guys look like they were strangled. What other options would there be? Does it have an option for his head being pinched off? Sure, decapitated. Oh my god, really? That was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You both got it at the same time, so... I, that just looks like they were strangled, and I don't see why they wouldn't be considered strangled. Their heads are still... Whoa, fire. Their heads are still attached to their bodies. Do we know you? Yeah, you're the butcher. We've seen you die. Yeah, you're a midshipman. We've seen you die. You too. Now we've entered into an interesting problem. We now have solved more murders then we have not dead, or not, uh, oh, hello. 14 memories, and we don't know who you are or how you died. I'm leaving this guy to last, and I'll explain why in a second, um, while I look around. So the deal with this guy, Baldi, is the way that he died is so goddamn mysterious that it drives me nuts, like Hat Man nuts. But we figured out the hat man, so we'll figure out that guy too. The thing that drives me nuts about him is that he... You don't actually see him die. You never see him die. You don't get any hints as to how he died. Which is bullshit. We might actually know his name. No, no, there are three Anglos involved with him and... I don't know which of the three he is. I don't even have a clue. And he doesn't have any marks or tattoos. He's just bald. So we need a new subject to go after. There's a butcher. Ship steward. Wait, 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 wait. Ship steward. We have two stewards that we don't know about. He looks. He looks Irish. That's how I kind of determined that these two had been it, but I have their, I must have their names wrong or how they died wrong. These two are the next ones. Yeah. So, I'm going to get off. Which do you want? Do you want this guy with the mustache or this guy with the buck tooth? I know he's probably not a buck tooth, but it kind of looks like a buck tooth. So, while you two decide that and tell me in chat, I'm going to get out of here. And we're going after the Stuarts next. Starting... The buck tooth, says Doom Lad. Starting... Mustache. Oh, you two are going to have to fight then. I'm going to start with their home. In the gunner deck is the steward's offices, which is right in front of me. Let's see if we can find anything inside. There were like four stewards? Five. There are five stewards on this ship. 
ship steward and second mate steward we don't know the captain steward we figured out real easy that the captain steward was this guy right here so that one actually how many yeah he's got two triangles it was pretty easy to figure out who he is but this guy One's from India, and one's from Wales. And I don't see many clues here that I can figure it out. How did it turn out, babe? I'm uh, still working on it. All right, babes. She's cooking a pumpkin pie. Even though this is technically uh, showing on YouTube after Thanksgiving, it's being recorded a day before. So, I got a vote for mustache and a boat vote for bucktooth. Stuart, who kidnapped the Fomosans, is the second mate. Well, that's a good point. But I thought both Stuarts were in there. You know, I'm going to have to side with Month. The guy with the mustache is always good. He died during the Soldier of the Sea. He's the guy who crawled away. Really? Ruckus guest, you may have a good point, though. If that's the case, we need to check out Bucktooth. Okay, his body is in the ocean. That makes it hard to track him down. I got an idea of how to go about it, though. Let's see here. 420. 425. 430. This one. He looks Asian-ish. Well, I mean... Eh. Don't care. I have two dead bodies here. Let's see, this one is at 405. This one's at 410. Or, I'm sorry, 415. So, this happened. Interesting. There were three ships. No? The oars just got swept away. Okay. Who are you? There's a second mate. So the idea here is that this steward is the second mate steward. Let's see how he died. That's where it was a mistake. Got it. I got this guy. I agree that he is probably the steward, but he was not strangled. He was knifed in the neck. That leaves this guy who is the ship steward. And he was definitely spiked by a terrible beast. But now we need one more correct one to test it out. And therein we lie, lies an interesting problem here. Uh, I'm going lagtastic. Sorry about that. I really don't want... I want to save this guy until last if I can. Got him. I need someone to test it out like this guy. What? So
Loose cargo. Oh, yeah. He was in the loose cargo. Where did he die? He died during the unholy captives bit. Spiked by a terrible beast. This was on deck. Okay, let's see here. Uh, one of these two, maybe? Okay. Ah! Uh. What the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? Thunk. Just missed the bosun. Oh, that's how he died. Who are you? Can we discern from you? Okay, strikes me. He's got African features. Do we have anybody in the manifest left over from the sea? The, the seaman. I don't think there's anybody left in the topman. No, we've got a... We've got three seamen, and none of them look I, uh, African. It's English, I think English. Who else do we got? We got a Frenchman. I hope we didn't... Hmm. We need a pocket watch that doesn't show everything in Gravois. He's got an earring. Crap. <laughs> yeah, but the guy from Sierra Leone. Oh. That leaves us with the same problem, though. If there's anything I've. I know about the guy from Sierra Leone is that one of these two is from Sierra Leone. But we don't have any other countries in here, I don't think, that are based in Africa. All that does is leave us with the same problem as the Chinamen. We have two people that are probably from the same location, but different. Let's continue looking into this guy. Let's go to the next memory he was at. We know he was spiked. There's no get, there's no doubt about that. Now right, we got a better way to deal with this. The pie is done. Uh, I will look at it in about 20 minutes. Don't touch it. I will not touch it. That is for other people I know better. <laughs> okay, bitter cold. Really? do not leave us with much choice. Part two, he's in the hammocks. But he's also in loose cargo. 
He is a salty seaman. He is a salty seaman. Har. All right. Well, let's go to the bitter cold. We have semen left over. Har har. We're 12. <laughs> so let me see here. Maybe he's Irish and he just like his parents were from Africa, but he was born in Ireland. We don't know. It doesn't seem like they'd do something like that. But that does leave four semen with four names. Uh, for now, I'm going to call him Patrick O'Hagan. <laughs> 19 seconds of lag. Yeah, and it's going to get worse. I'm at like two, uh, 3% uh, dropped frames. So, okay. 55, 57, 58, 59. <laughs> well, there's 59. He's sleeping with the Chinaman. He's got some pretty nice leather shoes. I really don't want to do that again. I, oh, all right. Number 59, leather shoes. I really didn't want to look at people's shoes again. It just feels so cheap. 58, same leather shoes, that won't help. 57, uh, I can't really see much of this guy. 55. I don't see anything special about this hammock either. And 56. Nothing's popping out. But we already figured out 56. No 55. Which means that this isn't that guy. Unless... Is there a 55? Oh, there is 55. So, 55, 57, 58, 59, 55, 56, not our business, 57, 58, and with the Chinaman was 59. So, all four seamen that we're looking for are here. Shoot. And the leather shoes doesn't help. There's two guys with leather shoes that doesn't mark things down very well. Well, this was pointless. What's the next, um... Next thing we can find him in is the loose cargo hold. What, seriously? The loose cargo hold does not help anyone. That joke never gets old. Wish we could check out in there. I don't have a key to that lock. Where we go. Oh no, they're both here. Cargo. I'm kind of sticking with my thing that this guy's from Sierra Leone, and I don't know why. Two seamen, both on the cargo during this accident. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, we got you already. You die of a cold pretty soon here. That's the Russian. One of the three Russians. I had to say, between the two, this guy's more black than the other guy. <laughs> it's that same problem, though. Hey, he still has his earring. That's nice attention to detail there. Well, they probably use the same model. This isn't helping. This isn't helping. There's none called Leroy. That's what we need to do. Is there a Leroy on the manifest? Oh, Jesus Christ. Leroy Jenkins. No, I don't think Jenkins is on the manifest. I would have noticed that. George, Patrick, Alexander, and Hamandu. <laughs> Which is also probably the most stereotypical uh, African name I can think of right now. And then there's the bosun's mate. French. French. Where's my Frenchman? Where is my Frenchman? Now, what happened to the beast? It was during the escape. See, now you're in a bad way. The squid's gone. Squid, where is my Frenchman? The guy who died was the bosun. Frenchman. Frenchman. There's a lot of Frenchmen in 1807 that are black, or Milano. Where is my Frenchman? Wrong one. Bosun. Bosun. How do I get out of here? <laughs> oh, there we go. I need a face with a name. down, let me go, the squid. Squid's gone, your mate was torn apart. The doom. No, this guy fell to his death, he wasn't torn apart. Oh my god. Crushed by a terrible beast. We wondered if this guy was crushed or ripped up or what. This is him. This is the bosun's mate. Crushed by a terrible beast isn't right. He was torn apart by the terrible beast. They don't act. Oh! There are also three people we can't identify until we get the last chapter. Maybe. But I'm convinced that Baldi here. That he is. Because we saw him get pulled out of a window while the gunner was being attacked. I wonder if we can... When ES died, was he there? We get to hear fart noises again.
Hope you guys are ready for that. Need a bosun. Where's the bosun? Where's top hat? He's not particularly dressed like a seaman. He's talking to uh, Wei Li. Is the bosun in this chapter? No, he's not. Who are you? Third mate Stewart. Helping the third mate. Figured you out. Figured you out. Just looking around for anything extra. Okay, I'm convinced now. This is the bosun's mate. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm convinced this is the bosun's mate. Um, I'd like to have something where they both were at to confirm to see what their relation with each other is. Which, it's really weird to me that I am still finding situations like this. No bosun. No bosun. Bosun and possible bosun's mate. What happened to this chapter? Keep the pressure here. Okay, this is when... What's his face? The, uh... The Captain Stewart was doing stuff. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's correct. I know there's a little bit of guesswork in here, but this looks right to me. And besides, we can't really judge anything because we still have goddamn other semen that we have to identify. Like, I think we've pretty much got these two down. Wait, that's three. Something isn't right with these lists. Crap. Does he look French to you? Oh man. It's starting to kill me. It's starting to mess with my head. He looks French? Okay. Those Frenchmen and their balding heads and their vests. I don't know. That still doesn't help with the semen situation. I can't even find them. He's playing dice with two semen. True. But he was also the only one torn apart. So in the Doom, we have this guy truly identified. This guy, this guy. This guy's a guess, so that's one guess. This guy, this guy, this guy, this girl. These two are correct. There are three three people that disappear 
in the doom that we're guessing. Two seamen. And this guy. But we know that the bosun's mate was torn apart in, in the doom chapter. So... Neither of these guys really strike me as French. And this guy is definitely wearing a seaman's outfit. Whereas Baldi here had a vest on, which I know is a small thing, but it's more than what the other crew are wearing. I'm going to stick with it. I'm, st I'm still going to say that this guy is French. He's the Frenchman. Until I can think of... Until I find something contradicting that. Like actually finding the Frenchman. But... The way that this has been working so far is we've been starting with a face. And trying to put a name to them. This guy's been in 11 memories. We have more clues of him than the other guy. I had assumed that he was the guy from Sierra Leone, so I haven't really paid too close attention to him. Maybe I should take a closer look. He's in Loose Cargo 1 and 2, because they're basically the same thing. He's in the hammocks somewhere. That tells us that he's one of the four seamen we haven't really pinned down yet. How does that help, though? Like, I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. Let's find something where his other possible African uh, counterpart is not. Something that identifies him. Which is like, yeah, I know. That's the dumbest thing I could have ever said, ever. Oh, God, I, I hope we find something that identifies him. Uh -huh. Where is he? Um. Three midshipmen. Boys. <laughs> Captain Stewart. Where the hell is he? Oh, he's upstairs. China Man, one of the top men. Another one of the top men. We've already got him ID'd. There he is, helping lower the chest. Doesn't help us really identify him. Get a closer look at him. What is that hanging around his neck? Is that just a necktie? Yeah, I think that's just a necktie. Huh. Whoa, we're up to 6% uh, percent drop frames. Awesome. What was he doing here? We're cutting it pretty close to an hour. I might take a break and do one more of these mystery hours. If you guys are up for it, then I'll uh, I'll stream for an extra hour, because right now I'm kind of deep into it. But I think we're in the right course. I think following this guy specifically will help us discern which one is which. We can't just take for granted that one of them is from Africa and the other one's from, I don't know, Ireland.
Okay. In either case, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode, or at least make a cut for YouTube. If you guys want me to continue playing, just tell me in chat. But for now, I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs>